Welcome back to Meticulous Mechanic. I got back from the motorcycle shop and I have all the new shims. I went through the math this morning, double checked all my work. Pretty much everything should come into tolerance. I got a 11, 11, 12, 12, 12, and 10. I may go back this morning and I had picked up a 170 shim. Um, I think I'm going to go with 165 because that will bump me up from ten thousandths to twelve plus change. So five out of six were exactly like I wanted. This one I'm going to redo. I just wanted to run through the math on the, the simplest one possible, which was this one here. So my current shim size was stamped 188. That's 1 1.88 millimeters. And I picked up a new shim at 1.78 millimeters. But anyway, it's been making it very hard for me because I measured all this stuff in thousands of an inch and I have to convert. So you might want to just start with millimeters and stay with millimeters. And there's a write up in the service manual how to do that. But I did it this way. Um, I needed 12 thousandths of an inch and I measured 0 0.008, which is eight thousandths of an inch. So it's four thousandths of an inch too narrow. So I took four thousandths of an inch times 25.4 millimeters per inch. The inches cancel out. That means I need 0 0.10 millimeters. And this one's easy because if you go 188 minus 178, if you ignore the decimal, that's 10. But if you leave the decimal in, um, the shims come in 0 0.05 millimeter increments. So 0 0.05 millimeters times two, I need two increments. That's a 0 0.10 millimeter. So basically if I had the 188 old and the 178 new, that's the 0 0.10, um, which ended up to be eight thousandths. Actually, no, it ends up being four thousandths. So I take the four plus the eight, and that gives me 12. Anyway, on the next video, I'm going to get these taps and shims back in.